Welcome to Violin Garden. My name is Analea, and today I'm going to show you some wonderful exercises for learning vibrato. Now, vibrato is a skill that takes a long time to develop and is best done in three stages. During the first stage, we practice the motor skills without the instrument, so that you can teach your body all these different movements without the interference or distraction of the instrument. If you haven't yet done these exercises, I warmly recommend you do so. Um, you can try the exercises in this video or do the ones that your teacher has given you um, and then come back to this one because today we're going to work with the instrument for the second phase of learning vibrato. And then the final stage is adding the bow. Now, uh, in order to learn vibrato successfully, there are three requirements that you should fulfill before starting. The first one being your violin posture. Um, your back should be straight and your violin should be resting on a relaxed shoulder and head turns to 10 o'clock and your wrist is relaxed. Now, if you, if you practice with a raised shoulder or your violin um, more on your chest, you'll have a harder time learning vibrato. So make sure your posture is good. The second requirement is that first four finger patterns are solid in the first position. This is usually the case by the end of book two if you've done your practice consistently and done your daily reviews. Um, but if you start learning vibrato before your finger patterns are settled in the first position, then your intonation will suffer and nobody wants to do that. So make sure that um, your left hand is solid. And this brings me to the third point, which is please make sure you have a green light from your teacher before attempting learning vibrato on your own. All right, so I have five exercises for you today. So when you're ready, bring your violin and let's begin. The first exercise happens in guitar position and you bring your thumb onto the neck of the violin and let your shoulder and your arm rest down and hang like this. Now we want to sway our arm to the scroll and then let it bounce back. We're using gravity to help us here to just bring it back and sway back into position. All of the fingers are just hanging and are completely relaxed and we want to teach our arm this simple motion uh, with a sense of effortlessness, okay? And we are teaching our thumb, the joint of our thumb, to also be very flexible here, because it's this that's happening. So in this motion, make sure your thumb is relaxed, that you're not locking the joint, and then we can start swaying a little bit rounder. So no sharp edges in the motion. And if this speed feels easy to you, you can slowly start increasing the motion, but still within the range of slow. Okay. All right, this is the first exercise. Now we're gonna transfer this exercise into the second step bringing your violin on your shoulder, holding it nicely, and you bring your thumb onto the neck of the violin and make sure that the violin isn't touching here. And then you bring your fingers over the string, just like when you play. And now we do the same motion. You swing back to the pegs and back up, back and back up, to the pegs and back up. So when we vibrate, we always vibrate down from the pitch and back up to it. Okay, so never above the pitch, which is why all of the exercises begin towards the scroll and back into the original place. Now here we also want to feel a sense of effortlessness, but also bring your awareness to your shoulder and your arm and your wrist and make sure that your wrist isn't doing something. It shouldn't be doing anything. It should just be resting on your lower arm and a tension check would be how easily can you move your hand and it should just be resting here. So bringing the hand back to this exercise 
do it a few times, see if you can get in a really nice, round, graceful motion. Good. The third exercise is also with the violin on the shoulder and we do the exercise on the shoulder of the violin. So you touch the violin gently here with the thumb and your second finger. Just gently and make sure that everything is nice and relaxed. Okay, now when we bring our hand and our arm back, what happens is that the second finger or the finger flattens. Now this is absolutely normal and that's what we want, but you don't want the finger to do it on its own. When we bounce back, the finger is around again. So don't do anything like this. Just bring your arm back and the finger flattens naturally. So we do this exercise a few times. Again, you may want to try to do it in front of the mirror to make sure that your wrist isn't doing any additional movements here. Now, this exercise may take you a little bit longer because you need to do it with all of the fingers. Okay, the second and the third finger tend to be the easiest in the beginning, but we need to do it with all of them. Okay, so take a minute or so during, during your practice to, to do all of the fingers. All right, now we go to the next exercise, which is here on the neck of the violin. You touch with the thumb and you bring your third finger on the A string. And now you release this point because as we vibrate, we never touch here. Okay, you always release this point. And now you're gonna slide your finger down and up. Slide it down and up with the same motion as we did without the finger on the string. Just go down and up. Pay attention to what your shoulder is doing, what your arm is doing, what your wrist is doing. And most of all, see if you can make it feel light. Okay. And again, here we need to do all of the fingers. The fingers should be nice and relaxed. And the thumb should be steady in its place without uh, any additional pressure. Okay, so you do all of the fingers on your own. And then if you've done these four exercises uh, well and they feel easy, then you can go to the fifth exercise, which is the same as the fourth, except the finger stays in its place. But again, without pressure, and you do the same motion and you get that flattening of the finger. So going back to the scroll and bouncing back up. And we do this a few times on each finger. <clears throat> Whatever feels good to you, take the tempo that's easy and just make sure that everything is nice and relaxed and that you only have two contact points on the violin, the thumb and the finger on the string. These are the five exercises that I have for you today. Now, if you want to really learn vibrato, I recommend you take, take it into your daily practice and a lot, three to five minutes every day uh, using some or all of these exercises. There are also many more exercises that maybe your teacher has given you, but make sure that you practice it, that you include it into your practice every day. I hope you enjoyed this practice with me today. And if you did, please remember to press the like button, share the video with a friend and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. And I wish you a beautiful practice and a blessed day until next time.